we're already recording. What am I talking about again? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, great. Hi Shuri Shakers and welcome to my next video tutorial. I've been doing quite a few video tutorials lately so please make sure you check them out and um, also subscribe if you'd like to see when new ones are released. Now this tutorial today is all about improvisation. Belly dancing improvisation is something that I find really, really beautiful and it's also one of the keys to this dance form. There's not many dance styles where you get to improvise. So firstly, to improvise or to prepare a choreography. There are many dancers who are divided on this. I know there used to be a time where I would prepare choreographies really well, but then usually on the night anyway, I would just perform whatever I was feeling at the time. So you do what works best for you, but really recommend being able to improvise because it makes it so much more engaging and in the moment when you can interact with your audience. So what are some tips and tricks for good belly dancing improvisation? Firstly, try and get to know your music really well. If you don't have the particular song that you'll be dancing to and can't listen to it beforehand, it's really good even just to listen to Arabic music in general because often the beats, the rhythms and the melodies will repeat themselves. And the more you can get used to this style of music, the easier it will be for you to dance without having prepared. Secondly, there are certain moves that you can also practice for your improvisations. Combinations are really good to help you when you're improvising. If you can get these into your muscle memory by practice, practice and practice, then when you're on the moment and dancing in front of people, you will be able to pull them out and do them really beautifully. Another really important thing is to have a default move. Now your default move, this can serve for you when you don't know what to do while you're performing. For example, say there's a piece of music that's come on, you don't really know the song, you don't really know the tune yet, but you have nothing to do and you just have to dance and you're on stage and everyone's watching you. This is where your default move can help you. Your default move can often be your favorite move, but it can also be a move that is just at the top of your mind, you like doing, and you just do it whenever you are stuck. For me, my default move is often my forward and back step. I find whenever I just don't know what to do improvising, I do my forward and back step. And this is a great move too, because it allows me to travel, I can work with the beat, I can work with drums, doing the shimmy over the top of it. Uh, so that's a really good default move for me. Another default move I use, which is a slower one, is my shimmy figure eights. So choose your favorite move, and whenever you are stuck improvising, just do that move, and it'll give you time to think of other things to do next. Now the really good thing about improvisation is that it gets you to engage more with your audience. Especially if you're in a restaurant, you've got a small space, you've got waiters walking past, you've got people walking past, you've got people walking into the restaurant who haven't been there before. You can't really stick with the standard choreography because the environment around you is changing. If you learn how to improvise really well, it can make your performance so much more engaging. As well, when you're getting people up to dance, you have to improvise because you don't know what their dance skills are going to be. So I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe below because I will be doing lots of other belly dancing tutorials and tips and tricks on performing as well as dancing in general. Thank you very much for watching and happy dancing.